The Southern Heritage Classic Preview Special, sponsored by Regional One Health, the Mid-South Bay, MJ Edwards Funeral Home, King Cotton Motors in Covington, Lemoyne Owen College. Live from Liberty Bowl Stadium in Memphis, Tennessee, Bands, barbecue, and the biggest bragging rights in Mid-South football, Jackson State versus Tennessee State in the Southern Heritage Classic. Thousands of fans, three days of fun, all 25 years in the making. With your hosts, Jarvis Greer and Janine Gordon, this is the 2014 Southern Heritage Classic Preview Special. The gridiron is ready to go here in Midtown Memphis at the Liberty Bowl right behind us. Well, in just a few days, more than 70,000 screaming fans are going to pack Tiger Lane and the whole area around here for one of the biggest, and I mean the biggest, events all year. Hey, good evening and welcome. This is the 2014 Southern Heritage Classic Preview Special. I'm Jarvis Greer. And I'm Janine Gordon. We have a lot of fun in store for you tonight and what you can expect this weekend, and it's just not all football. Half the fun of the tailgating is a party in the parking lot before, during, and after the game. And tonight, we'll show you who does it best and some of the tricks you can take to your next tailgate. Then you have to get down on the gridiron because it's the Battle of the Bands before the game to the world-famous halftime show. We've got a behind-the-scenes look at it all for you, including exclusive interviews with classic entertainers, comedian Lavelle Crawford, and one of the hardest working men in show business, Uncle Charlie Wilson. Yeah, former Gap Band man. And you know, if you look good, you feel good, right? Yeah. And uh, the events this weekend are a time to see and be seen. You know about that, don't Sounds you, Sounds good to me. Yeah, huh? we'll show you some of the great and the best classic fashions so you can step out in style. All the while celebrating one of heck of a football game, Tennessee State versus Jackson State. Rival teams who travel hundreds of miles for one of the greatest games all year. Now the Southern Heritage Classic celebrates 25 years this weekend. And none of it, none of it would be possible without one man and one man alone. Of course, I'm talking about the incomparable Fred Jones. He dreamed up this monumental event way back in 1990. And though it may look easy, it's been anything but. He said, Fred, if you pull this off, you're going to have the biggest event in this town. Those words were early inspiration for Southern Heritage Classic founder Fred Jones, now celebrating 25 years of what has become a world-renowned event. And those were powerful words and, and because there were so many non-believers that we could even pull this off the first year. Nobody believed it, you know, not in Memphis. Now, the Classic has seen its fair share of ups and downs over 25 years, but Jones always knew in his heart Memphis was the place to get it started for Tennessee State and Jackson State fans. Memphis was the, the natural place. The location was great. Um, both schools are 200 miles from Memphis. Great alumni base here. Um, we have great institutions that people know around the world, Beale Street, Graceland. Jones would bring in his own entertainment and use the most popular event in the world as a basis, the Super Bowl. It's similar. We do the same thing. We've got a great football game, great halftime, great entertainment. And great crowds. As many as 70,000 fans are expected this year. We try to maximize everything that we do in this year. We want to make this year the biggest that, that it can be. Success Jones says his former self would laugh about. You must have been crazy. <laughs> uh. All right, joining us live right now to talk about the classic and what it means, not just to himself, but the entire city of Memphis. We've got none other than the founder, Fred Jones, and his son, Nathaniel. We thank you both for being here on the Southern Heritage Classic Special. Now, 25 years in the making, Fred. And you've got to be just beaming about what, what this has become. Absolutely. It's, it's something that's way beyond what we originally thought. And it's a great family event. It's, it's a great time for everybody and everybody to get together. And then people are responding that way. Now, we've got, uh, of course, Nathaniel, you're here. And you're here for a reason because eventually the torch is going to be passed on to you, right? <laughs> yeah, well, 
Uh, my father has laid a great foundation for, with this event. We've got great sponsors, two great schools participating, Tennessee State and Jackson State, great events around the Classic, a great staff, great volunteers. So my challenge going forward, and I look forward to it, is just to maintain that. All right, so what about, what about the, uh, the tutelage period? period here. What has the dad passed on to the son? Well, he's, one thing he's passed on to me is patience. Uh, he's passed on me also the knowledge of taking your time and understanding this, what, what we do, what it takes to do it. Um, the main thing I've always got from him has been focus. Focus, dedication, discipline, and being dedicated to what we do. Right, and a little bit of Fred about what some of the challenges that Nate here is going to face. Uh, you know, it's always the challenge each year to try to get better. Uh, this is the 25th anniversary, and we hopefully that this year would be the best that we've had at any time. His challenge is going to be how can he make the 26th, 27th, and so forth go forward. So he, he'll take a bigger role going forward, and I'll go stage right somewhere along the line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real, real quick, it, it, either one of you guys have some classic moments, a big classic moment you can share with us quickly. Um, you know, it's, you know, all of them been good. I, I can't say any particular one one that stand out over the other. It's the fact that. We're able to do it each and every year, and the schools have benefited, the city has benefited, and I, that's one thing I'm very proud of. All right, thank you very much. That's Fred and Nathaniel Jones. They are the founders of the Southern Heritage Classic. We thank you guys uh, for joining us right here. Let's bring Thanks, Janine Dad. back in now to talk a little bit more about some other things going on here at the Classic Special. Yeah, it's all about the game. So we go from Nashville. We have the Tennessee State Tigers. Head coach Rod Reed has been with the school since 20. 03. An analyst believe TSU's defense will be a key to success. And from Jackson, Mississippi, we have the Jackson State Tigers. Head coach Harold Jackson has his work cut out for him as TSU has won the past two Southern Heritage Classics. He's a fairly new coach for the team, but taking over the role in January of this year. So we sent team members of the WMC Action News 5 sports team inside both camps. Ari Alexander spent time in Jackson and Kerry Anderson spent time in Northeast Nashville. And that's where we start tonight with Kerry inside the Liberty Bowl Stadium. Yeah, hey, Kerry. <laughs> hey, Janine, yeah, it all happens here. The Liberty Bowl Stadium, this is where it all happens. The two teams come here on the big stage. The field is ready, the fans are ready, and Tennessee State is ready to take the Southern Heritage Classic crown once again. For the Tennessee State football team, the vision is clear. And we say win one, and that's what we want to do. We want to be 1-0, and oh, you know, for 12 straight weeks. Coming off a 10-4 and four season and an HBCU National Championship, the Tigers have all the pieces in place for a run at the OVC Championship with the experience of a senior-laden team. The chemistry uh, on this football team is really good, so uh, we've got to make sure that, that they continue to lead by example. You know, so if they continue to do that, I feel like uh, they can take this football team a long way. Their attention now turns toward longtime rival Jackson State. The TSU Tigers have won nine of the last 11 games against the Tigers from Mississippi, but numbers make no difference when it comes to the battle at Liberty Bowl Stadium. And anytime you hear Tennessee State, Jackson State, you can just throw the records out of the window. It's a good rivalry, and it's the kind of game that you want to play in. It's a bowl game atmosphere for us, and our kids love going to Memphis to play. Regardless who wins the Classic, both schools come out victorious in recruiting. Being able to play a game there, uh, you know, that Friday, you know, our coaches can get out and do some local re recruiting. They know that they can come in and be a part of the biggest game in Memphis all year long. Uh, is a Southern Heritage Classic. An atmosphere Tennessee State is looking to dominate come Saturday. All right, TSU coming into the Liberty Bowl with a one and one record. Alabama State beat them last week. Here with the other side of the ball to talk about those other Tigers, Ari Alexander, and what's their plan? Well, the Jackson State Tigers have a new high-profile offensive coordinator to help them out this season, but they have to be careful not to make the same mistakes they did in last year's loss. It's a great feeling. There's nothing to explain. You guys got to be in the moment to understand the feeling, but it's pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome feeling. The Southern Heritage Classic is described as an awesome feeling by those who play in it, but for Jackson State, last year's loss was far from it. I know they played them last year, and... 
Tennessee State beat them, and uh, I think they've been disappointed ever since that ball game. Six turnovers do not make a fun experience, and the team will look to improve. For running back Rakeem Sims and linebacker Arian McCree, this is their fourth classic, and they know all about the game's pageantry. The atmosphere is very awesome, man. And um, we got a lot of fans that come up every year, and they, they do as well. Amazing. It just, it, the intensity is very high. Even when you play in the game, you want to give it your all and give it your all every effort that you have, you know, just go hard. This year, Jackson State brings a new head coach and a new offensive coordinator into the mix. The head coach, Harold Jackson, spent nearly 20 years in the NFL as a wide receiver, so the first thing he did was install an exciting offense. I wanted something that people that enjoy watching, uh, exciting offense, and I thought about Tim Chain. I've been knowing Tim for a while, and I was very fortunate to get Tim, and uh, you know, I tell you what, and the players love him. He hired Timmy Chang, who at one point was the record holder for most passing yards in Division I football. This is for the record. Into the end zone. Touchdown! And the record has been set. Coach Jackson has given me a lot of freedom to, uh, to, to run the offense the way that he, 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 he feels like I envision it. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to put our, our guys in best position to succeed. One thing we can be certain about this year's Jackson State team, they're looking to get the fans on their feet. In just a few minutes, join us back here live at the Liberty Bowl, and we're going to have from the bands, Tennessee State and Jackson State's band right here live at the Liberty Bowl. Jarvis, back to you. All right, thank you very much. All right, now we've got the scoreboard on Southern Heritage Classic wins over the years, and including some victories that might surprise you. Take a look. Yeah, the Tennessee State leads Jackson State in this series with a whopping 13 victories. Jackson State has nine. Now, if you add that up, one, two, three, that, that's only 22. <laughs> so what happened to the other two classics? Well, back in 1991, Tennessee State played Mississippi Valley State and lost that game. And in 1993, TSU took on Grambling here at the Liberty Bowl and lost that one as well. Well, no losers when it comes to weather this weekend. This Saturday, temperatures will be in the 70s. And right now, our meteorologists say rain won't be a problem. The other good news, there's going to be plenty of sunshine. Fantastic weather for kickoff at 6 o'clock at Liberty Bowl Stadium this Saturday. All right, now, when we come back, it's a battle where only, only one team can win. And it's not on the football field, no. How students from across Memphis are using their music as a weapon. That's next. Okay, so you trying to beat me. Yep. All right, I still love you, though. You know I love you and your mom. Just in case anything happened to me, I've already made my arrangements. Arrangements? Look, we all have to die one of these days, so when that time comes for me, call MJ Edwards Funeral Home. I'm not planning to go anytime soon, but this is my way of showing you guys I love you. And you should, too. Now, check me. I check it it's out. It's never too early to plan. Call MJ Edwards Funeral Home today. At Incom Ford, we'll make a believer out of you. You need a car, you know you do. You know just what you're looking for. No one's fooling you. We'll make a believer out of you. We only get one chance. We know it's true. At Incom Ford, we'll make a believer out of you. The Mid-South Fair is returning to the Landers Center in South Haven September 19th through September 28th. Presented by the Landers Auto Group, expect the traditional favorites of talent competitions, pageants, and agriculture, and an array of new attractions including fitness, sporting events, and so much more. Enjoy live performances, new rides, and great food. The original is still the best. The Mid-South Fair September 19th through the 28th at the Landers Center in South Haven. Parking is free. Visit the website for daily events. Gladys Knight, eight-time Grammy winner. The enchanting voice of Gladys Knight. One impressive hit after another. 
25th Southern Heritage Classic, presented by FedEx, presents Gladys Knight. September 11th, 8 p.m. at Orpheum Theater, with special guest, Jam and Jay Lamont. Reserve seat tickets are on sale now. For answers to your legal questions, visit ForThePeople.com or on your cell phone, dial Pound Law. Being connected, staying connected. Morgan & Morgan, ForThePeople.com. Welcome back to the 2014 Southern Heritage Classic Preview Special, live from the Liberty Bowl. Before we left, we asked what reason more people give for returning year after year to the Classic. Well, the answer is... B, tailgating. That's right, tailgating. In a 2011 survey, 88% of people said that's one event they just will not miss. And you know what? You cannot beat the tailgating grub either. Mm. Mm, that's some good food, music, and friends. It's all here, and you'll make plenty of it out here on Tiger Lane. In fact, you make more than just a friend. Nice and golden brown. The smell of barbecue is always in the air at the Southern Heritage Classic tailgate, but so is the love. Of tailgating, yes. <laughs> Of course. Ruby and Larry Herring went to JSU and TSU respectively. Not only do they love each other, but they love the classic tailgate. We both love football. We both love our schools. And, uh, you know, going to the classic, we get a chance to do something we both love. And we both love each other. They take their tailgating seriously. And so does the memphis tailgate crew. They spend all year planning and looking forward to the big tailgate day. The first thing is you got to be organized. You got to know what type of crowd you're expecting so that everybody is fed and, and feeling comfortable and happy. Sometimes the best food is the easiest food. memphis says finger foods are the best. So aim for the classics like hot dogs, sausages, burgers, wings, and most importantly, ribs. David Keith from Keith Farms in Fayette County says you can never go wrong with the tried and true. Some really good cut ribs are, you know, cooked just right, fall off the bone, can't beat it. But the grub is just part of the excitement. Get your dance on, listen to some sweet tunes, check out the stellar setups, or sit back and people watch. You never know, you could find the love of your life at the Southern Heritage Classic tailgate. Uh, we have both attended every game. Wow, finding love. You know, the Classic tailgate kicks off at 8 in the morning on Saturday right here on Tiger Lane. But, but you know what? Yeah, we got an early start for you tonight right here on Tiger Lane with our own tailgate tipster himself. <laughs> Desmond Robinson will show you how to wow your fellow tailgaters Ooh, with some game day fare. Yeah, it is about time to eat yeah. in. I'll be cooking this stuff for us. Uh, our own live tailgate experience, which we can't wait for, and I'm sure you can't either, that's coming up in just a few minutes. But first, we have another can't miss at the Southern Heritage Classic. The world-class halftime show featuring bands from both universities. Carrie Anderson gets us started with the drums banging and the trumpets blaring at TSU. Carrie. Well, just over 50 years ago, Tennessee State was given a nickname by a sportscaster during the national championship in the NFL. That moniker stuck, and now it is my pleasure to introduce you to the aristocrat of bands. 285 strong, the Tennessee State University Band prides itself on being ambassador as well as entertainer. There was a saying by the former director of bands that nothing can happen at Tennessee State University without the band being involved. A staple at football games, the aristocrat of bands makes an impact with every performance. It may be somebody in the audience who can see us, but they can't hear us. But, or it could be someone who can't hear us, but they can see us. So we always have to be on point. Three and a half hours of practice daily goes into the 10-minute halftime performances. But before the magic on the field takes place, the fine-tuning begins in the Performing Arts Building. What makes us aristocratic is that we will incorporate any type of music, if we feel it's good music or if it will get the audience to respond in a positive way. That versatility recently paid off when the band became the first college band asked to perform at the Pro Football Hall of Fame game, celebrating TSU great Claude Humphreys enshrinement. The, 
the, the cheers from the crowd welcoming us as we came onto the field. And it was a great experience. The next biggest performance, the battle with the Jackson State Band at this year's 25th anniversary of the Southern Heritage Classic. A chance to showcase and maybe show up a rival band. A lot of these kids went to school with each other, and so there's a little sense of competition there. We're not just a band who just go and perform. We're we're a band. Everything we do is, is top notch. We are the aristocrats of all bands. And of course, there are two great bands performing here this weekend. We go from the aristocrats to the sonic boom of the South here with Jackson State is Ari Alexander once again. Carrie, while Tennessee State may describe themselves as the aristocrat of bands, Jackson State calls themselves the summa cum laude of bands. Check out what the sonic boom of the South is doing to get ready. And it's just something about when the crowd hears boom, 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 da 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 and they just go crazy. Bringing the band to the football game, that is sheer excitement. Sheer excitement. Band director Dal Taylor has his squad ready to go for the Southern Heritage Classic, and Jackson State is issuing a challenge to Tennessee State. There's no other band that compares to the Sonic Boom. They're great bands, uh, like the Tennessee State uh, Band. Great bands, but the Sonic Boom is the band. Strong words. Our mindset is kill a gnat with a sledgehammer. But why so much confidence? We're the summa cum laude of bands. From the marches to the warm-up to the, to the stands to dance and to field shows, we strive to be the best. This band is big, disciplined, and ready to rock. High knee lift, flash, swing and sway with the plume. Just a lot of action and great sounds from the instruments. The Sonic Boom isn't afraid to step out of the box. They play anything from R&B classics to rap to even Spanish music. We like for people to say, wow, they played that style of tune. They are diverse. They are magnificent. But there's a Temptations classic that always starts the show and is their legendary showstopper. And that theme song is, is, is Get Ready. And when we play that tune, that tune just gets to the jugular vein of those things. Boom, 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 da -da -da -da. No doubt, a sound of success. Of course, the winner of the Battle of the Bands will be decided by the fans and supporters. It all goes down at halftime right here at the Liberty Bowl on Saturday. Now back to you, Jarvis and Janine. Thanks, Ari. You know, there's a lot more green at the Southern Heritage Classic than just the turf on the field. The sounds of cash registers meets the smell of great Memphis cooking next. Established in 1980, M.J. Edwards Funeral Home has proven to be a place of comfort and compassion. M.J. Edwards' goal has remained the same, to provide the finest quality services at prices affordable to all. M.J. Edwards has built a solid reputation by offering a compassionate licensed staff, constantly improving their facilities with state-of-the-art showrooms, beautiful chapels, and advanced funeral planning and services. M.J. Edwards Funeral Home, prestigious services within the means of all. Call 791-9700. At Regional One Health, we're home to nationally recognized trauma, burn, and neonatal care. But we're more than that. Our full family of services includes a surgery center, rehabilitation hospital, extended care hospital, and a multi-specialty outpatient center. By growing our exceptional services and providing compassionate care, we're committed to improving the health and well-being of the Mid-South. We are Regional One Health. 
25th Southern Heritage Classic, presented by FedEx, gives you the Classic Music Festival, starring Charlie Wilson. Charlie Wilson, Friday night, September 12th at the Lander Center. I just want you to know. Charlie Wilson, along with Joe and Mint Condition, the Classic Music Festival, Friday night, September 12th at the Lander Center. Charlie Wilson, Joe, and Mint Condition. Tickets on sale now at the Lander Center box office and all Ticketmaster outlets. The Mid-South Fair is returning to the Lander Center in South Haven September 19th through September 28th. Presented by the Lander's Auto Group, expect the traditional favorites of talent competitions, pageants, and agriculture, and an array of new attractions including fitness, sporting events, and so much more. Enjoy live performances, new rides, and great food. The original is still the best. The Mid-South Fair September 19th through the 28th at the Lander Center in South Haven. Parking is free. Visit the website for daily events. Andy will at work tonight at 10. Super strong and double thick so your ice stays ice for days. The Yeti Cooler. Tonight at 10. Welcome. Welcome back to the 2014 Southern Heritage Classic Preview Special. No matter which team wins on the field here Saturday, Memphis takes home the real trophy. Yeah, that's right. The Blue Ribbon with thousands of fans expected to spend thousands of dollars right here in the Bluff City. The big winner. The big winner, Memphis. And that means big, big business for our hometown. Awesome, awesome. Not only are the bands booming during Classic Weekend, so is business. That ends up in a, a $20 million impact. Restaurants, hotels, supermarkets, you name it, they all do well. Almost half the money that comes in during game weekend comes from outside Memphis. Restaurants like Cozy Corner love getting in on the action. A lot of people come in, I mean a lot of people from all over the country. They come from everywhere to the classic and I tell you it's a delight for us because we do very well when people are in town, when the classic is in town. U of M's Dr. Richard Irwin keeps track of the city's take. He knows who attends, how much they spend, and where they're from. And his research shows a lot of classic visitors just can't get enough. The average classic goer has attended eight classic games. So it's uh, uh, really sustaining itself and becoming a major part of the calendar here that you need uh, during that time of the year. A good time generating good news and revenues for the Bluff City. The Southern Heritage Classic generates excitement, There's excitement in the air, excitement on the ground, excitement in your bones, and you just, you just want to be a part of it. Well, no one knows how big of an impact the Classic makes on the city more than our mayor, Mayor A.C. Warden, and he joins us live. Thank you so very much for joining us. Thanks, Janine, and Jarvis. Thanks. And let me say this right at the top. Thanks to Channel 5 for doing this. This is a first. Uh, this is just, this is magnificent. Thanks for doing this. And thank you for coming out. Now, when business owners come up to you and talk about the classic, what do they say? Oh, listen, they're glad. They think, <laughs> let's, have, let's have more than one of them. Can we do it two or three times a year? It's just great. You know, others calculate the dollars. When we look at the national exposure that Memphis as a whole gets for this, it's in, how, do, how do you count that? Just casting Memphis... Uh, and a positive light. We always come out the winner, either way you cut it, no matter what happens on the field. Memphis comes out a big, big winner. You know, when it's when it's seconds from kickoff and the, uh, the, the fans are piling in, the restaurants are full, the uh, hotels have a lot of people. As mayor of this great city, what's going through your mind at that time? Oh, it's great. You know, it, it, it eases the pain of, see, folks start calling me at the last minute. Man, I waited. I didn't get a hotel room. Can you get... Hey, I don't do hotels. <laughs> so you feel good about that. But again, when you look at, uh, at some of the not so positive things that our community and all cities are plagued with things, to see just something that is 100% positive, and as Fred Jones says, it's not just a game. Mm -hmm. uh, we're having the Heritage Business Conference, the first thing. There's a golf tournament. There's Gladys Knight. There's Charlie Wilson. Mm -hmm. It's flat out something for everybody. That's, it's, it's truly a family event. My kids, when they were away in college, it's two times they'd come back home, Southern Heritage Classic and Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah. i got a son in law school now. Guess what? He'll be back this weekend. It's a homecoming. Mm -hmm. No, they come back also when... Yeah. 
for you to pull something out of your pocket. <laughs> we all know about that. That's that. right. Now, I know this may be a tough one. You may not have been ready for trivia, but you went to TSU. I did, sure okay. did. So who's going to be the real winner? <laughs> Put him on the spot. Uh, well, uh, you know, I tell you what. I, I, You know, I'm like Jarvis. I know a lot about athletics and sports and all. And I, I really, uh, I've really studied this. And I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to change. The Tigers are going to win. All right. Spoken like a true politician. <laughs> <laughs> very good. A.C. Warden, Mayor of Memphis, we really appreciate you joining us. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much, Jarvis. Janine, thank, thank you so much. You. We sure appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Now, if you listen, if you want to read all the gritty details and get down to the dollar amount of what exactly happens with the Southern Heritage Classic and all the people it brings to Memphis, just check out our website at wmcactionnews5.com. on camera. A student tackled. Did police go too far? We're working the phones right now to find out what happened. A daycare employee fired after allegedly leaving a child in a closet. The kid's mom has a lot to say. A Memphis firefighter accused of murdering his ex-girlfriend outside of a Target. More details on his dark past. This cooler claims to keep your stuff cool for days. Andy Wise puts his Arctic chill to the test. We ask Andy, will it work at 10? The Mid-South Fair is returning to the Landers Center in South Haven September 19th through September 28th. Presented by the Landers Auto Group, expect the traditional favorites of talent competitions, pageants, and agriculture, and an array of new attractions including fitness, sporting events, and so much more. Enjoy live performances, new rides, and great food. The original is still the best. The Mid-South Fair September 19th through the 28th at the Landers Center in South Haven. Parking is free. Visit the website for daily events. At Regional One Health, we're home to nationally recognized trauma, burn, and neonatal care. But we're more than that. Our full family of services includes a surgery center, rehabilitation hospital, extended care hospital, and a multi-specialty outpatient center. By growing our exceptional services and providing compassionate care, we're committed to improving the health and well-being of the Mid-South. We are Regional One Health. Oh, okay, so you try to beat me. Yep. All right, I still love you, though. You know I love you and your mom. Just in case anything happened to me, I've already made my arrangements. Arrangements? Look, we all have to die one of these days, so when that time comes for me, call MJ Edwards Funeral Home. I'm not planning to go anytime soon, but this is my way of showing you guys I love you. And you should, too. Now, check me. I check it it's out. It's never too early to plan. Call MJ Edwards Funeral Home today. At King Cotton Chrysler, we'll make a believer out of you. You need a car, you know you do. You know just what you're looking for. No one's fooling you. We'll make a believer out of you. We only get one chance. We know it's true. At King Cotton Chrysler, we'll make The Southern Heritage Classic Preview Special, sponsored by Regional One Health, the Mid-South Fair, MJ Edwards Funeral Home, King Cotton Motors in Covington, Lemoyne Owen College. But it is the activity in Memphis. It is the number one uh, activity in this whole area, and people look forward. They start looking forward to it from the time it's over. I started getting calls last year when it was over about tickets for this year, so. TSU President Glenda Glover has lived the Southern Heritage Classic. She graduated from TSU, then went on to work at Jackson State before returning to her current spot. And Glover says the Classic is the perfect chance to show potential students what Tennessee State is all about. But the university won't be the only school this weekend trying to recruit students. That's you're right about that. One of the top favorites for families at this weekend coming up at the Classic is the Classic College Fair. Yeah, that's a really, really good deal. It won't be just Tennessee State and Jackson State schools. Schools from across the area will all be there. The first College Fair is set for Friday 9 o'clock in the morning. The second will be on Saturday at noon. Both of them will be hosted in the Pipkin building just off Tiger Lane right here at the fairground. But before you go Saturday, make sure you get warmed up with some moves you learned at the Classic Parade.
started out small. Now it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, parade in the Mid-South area. You might call Claudette Boyd a behind-the-scenes grand marshal. All the morning on. That's who we need to contact. She and the Orange Mound Parade Commission meet once a week, year-round, to plan for hundreds of musical marches and all the attractions that make the annual parade a success. We've had people as far as Nebraska to come and be a part of the parade. So we're not just a local parade now. We're sort of a national parade. And the people who come really enjoy themselves in Memphis. What Boyd enjoys most is the sense of pride the parade brings to young people. And they would dance all the way down Park Avenue, give them a chance. And that's what's so good about it. We, we give them something to look forward to. People of all ages look forward to it. Like the Orange Mound Energizers who will take this line dance to the streets. The oldest uh, member of this group is 86. Families often schedule family reunions right along the parade route. But you don't need an invitation or a fancy float to get in on the fun. Sometimes we just have a little wagon, you know, people on the back of their little wagon, they put their little decorations on it and come on down the street, you know, they make up stuff. And that's what's good about it. We have started something. And when I'm long gone, I hope people will carry it on and do what's good for the community. This is good, clean, community fun. Watch the parade this Saturday at 9 o'clock. It runs along Park Avenue from Haynes to Airways Boulevard. Now, a lot of the bands you will see here in the parade will fight it out with their music at the classic Battle of the Bands. And it's not an easy performance to get ready for. No, sir, a lot goes into it. Weeks, years, and even for some, a decade have all been spent practicing for one of the biggest clashes in Memphis, the classic Battle of the Bands. I get excited, and I just get so anxious when it comes to it, when it's time, and I just love to perform, especially in the band. Sydney Green and her bandmates at Whitehaven High have been grinding it out in the hot sun for months. Led by Andre Newsom, they'll be marching into one of the biggest battles of their life. It's the little bitty things that make you great. All the bands that come are good, but it's the little bitty things that make them great. If they do well with the little bitty things, make sure everybody's doing the same thing at the same time, they usually come out on top. Now they'll have some tough competition from all across the country and right here at home. Acts like Fairley High School put up a tough fight, which led them to a first place victory last year. It's something folks at Whitehaven High say they're not going to let happen this year. There's a lot of hard work, dedication. You have to put in day in, day out effort to do this, to make sure everything is perfect. Now if they win, they'll get to play in the pregame in front of thousands of screaming fans. Not only that, they get the respect. Being the best, practicing like the best, basically just being the best. Woo is right. The classic Battle of the Bands this Saturday at Whitehaven High School Stadium starts at 10 in the morning. Tickets cost $10, and you can get them by calling Ticketmaster. Well, just as good-looking as the bands are, the people showing out during the tailgating and the game are also. In fact, this Saturday, you can check it all out with the classic fashions during a brunch that's been part of the classic weekend for decades. The Southern Heritage Classic is the place to be seen, and showing off your style is as important as showing up. Nikki Barnes from the National Coalition of 100 Black Women gave me a sneak peek of some of the classic looks this year. You know, fashion is all over the place right now, and the thing that you can expect from us is to bring to you each and every genre, genre of fashion that's out there right now. Models from Patsy Little's LaFast Forward Modeling Agency show off this year's fashions. Formal wear for galas and balls during Classic Week is elegant with flair, sleek and sophisticated, with accessories that make a bold statement. You can't go wrong with a little black dress for dinner and dancing, but all white can also go from day to night. Pants are never off limits if they're worn with style and with just the right finishing touches. Brunch or lunch with friends calls for something cool and comfortable. Game time and tailgating require a more casual look, but you don't have to sacrifice style for comfort. Tops from sleeveless to strapless can make a statement. 
and animal prints are timeless in just the right fabric. Bright colors will keep you looking and feeling cool from day to night. The Southern Heritage Classic Fashion Show is celebrating 24 years. And with so many events associated with the big game, fashion is key before, during, and after football. Now, before you take a step in your fashion, you're going to want to see what's going on with the right steps. No one knows how to make those moves any better than the Greeks. I know Adrian Dobbins is behind us with the Memphis Alumni Chapter of the Step and Divas. They're all behind us, and Miss Beverly Robertson is here. I thought we were going to do a little stepping, but... Uh... Well, you can try it. <laughs> I don't know how good you'll be. You won't beat them. The ladies have been over here practicing, so we'll step out the way. They'll show you what they have, and I'll stay to the side. You Sounds ready to good. go? Sounds good to me. Let's go. <laughs> One, nine, one, three. I'm glad I didn't try to do that. Okay, I'm here with Adrian. So Adrian, explain to me what makes stepping so unique and look so easy for you all anyway. <laughs> well, hard work, mm -hmm. um, dedication, um, commitment, and just having fun. Yeah, that's what. So that's what it's all about for you all, ladies. Yes. I know you're a little out of breath, but out of breath is good. Okay. <laughs> so where did it come from? Uh, where did stepping come yes. from? Oh, back in like maybe the early, I'll say around about maybe 60s, 70s, mm -hmm. um, where Greek organizations on uh, historically black college campuses and universities, mm -hmm. uh, and it kind of stemmed from there, okay. where they would gather around the yard uh -huh. and maybe sing or okay. chant, and they started adding Ooh. movements. Take a deep breath. <laughs> you did well, ladies. Thank you all so very much. I'll take a deep breath for you. Ah, there we go. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back with some entertainers who know how to dance professionally. South Fair is returning to the Landers Center in South Haven September 19th through September 28th. Presented by the Landers Auto Group, expect the traditional favorites of talent competitions, pageants, and agriculture, and an array of new attractions including fitness, sporting events, and so much more. Enjoy live performances, new rides, and great food. The original is still the best. The Mid-South Fair September 19th through the 28th at the Landers Center in South Haven. Parking is free. Visit the website for daily events. At Peacock and Ford, we'll make a believer out of you. You need a car, you know you do. You know just what you're looking for. No one's fooling you. We'll make a believer out of you. We only get one chance. We know it's true. At Peacock and Ford, we'll make a believer out of you. At Regional One Health, we're home to nationally recognized trauma, burn, and neonatal care. But we're more than that. Our full family of services includes a surgery center, rehabilitation hospital, extended care hospital, and a multi-specialty outpatient center. By growing our exceptional services and providing compassionate care, we're committed to improving the health and well-being of the Mid-South. We are Regional One Health. You and your friends could be cruising in a blazing red Mini Cooper from Roadshow BMW Mini. The WMC Action News 5 Drive Away Giveaway. One impressive 
Gladys Knight, the Empress of Soul, kicks off a star-studded classic weekend. The Grammy Award winner takes the stage Thursday night at the Orpheum downtown for an evening of classic hits. And you know you just want to jump on that midnight train to Georgia, right? <laughs> Tickets available through Ticketmaster. I'm ready. But now, if soul isn't your style, then you won't want to miss one of the biggest names in the rap game, 2 Chains. Known for his unique lyrical style, the hip-hop artist rose up from the Atlanta rap game and you might recognize his hits like I'm Different and Birthday Songs. You can catch 2 Chainz show this Friday at 4 o'clock at Memphis Rain Ultra Lounge at 2164 Frazier Boulevard. All right, now that's just some of the world-class entertainment that'll be going on here at the Southern Heritage Classic this weekend. You're going to get some great stuff. Ooh, yes, uh -huh. it's going to get better and better. Now, this next two, uh, well, this next two acts couldn't be more different. One will leave you swooning, <laughs> and the other will leave you in tears. <laughs> Music critics call him the natural. I was trying to do this. Fans call him simply Uncle Charlie. If you haven't seen the Charlie Wilson show, you need to come see me because I'm going to be putting it down. I'm going to be giving you all I got. Charlie Wilson performs Friday night at the Classic Music Festival at the Lander Center, part of a long-standing love affair with Mid-South fans who've supported him for decades. I'm so honored to be able to come back and play so many times back to back. It's a treat. I mean, the fans and the people there, the energy level is so incredible. Wilson has come a long way from the highs of his heyday with the Gap Band. The Tulsa, Oklahoma native formed the pivotal R&B funk trio with brothers Ronnie and Robert and hit the charts hard in the late 70s and 80s with a string of hits. His relationship with Southern Heritage Classic organizer Fred Jones goes way back. Back in the day, he allowed us, to, the Gap Band, to play it once and... Um, and it, it went over really well. And, and then when I started doing my solo work, they invited me back. And um, and ever since then, it's just been it's just been um, incredible. Joining Charlie Friday night are Joe and Mint Condition. Charlie says you can bank on a brand new stage show and all your favorite hits. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have some fun. And I just want people to to enjoy themselves because you know it's no party like a Charlie Wilson party. I go to the door, who is it? Baby, it's your grandma. Open the door, and it's your grandma in the house. Lavelle Crawford is a big boy who gets big laughs. Sorry, grandma. My mama said not to let nobody in the house. They're not trying to change the world. I'm just trying to put a smile on your face. Always on the move, we talk to the funny man via Skype on his way to Memphis, where he'll perform Friday night at the Orpheum. He says, if you don't like funny, stay home. Whatever I say ain't going to change your mind, but I'm hilarious. That's what you need to know. I'm hilarious. This year's classic comedy jam features Coco Brown, Jam and Jay Lamont, Dominique, and this guy who's no stranger to Mid-South audiences. Tennessee is a great, great state for laughing. People come out and laugh. You can't, you can't beat that Southern hospitality, man. You can't beat it. And no matter how you try to charm him, you can't make Crawford pick a winner for the big game on Saturday. I ain't going to say either or because I don't know who the home favorite is. <laughs> His hometown favorite when he's in Memphis is barbecue. I can't wait to do it, Memphis, and save me some beef brisket. And if y'all got something that roasted the chicken down there, holla at me. Now, if you aren't feeling the music, comedy, or football, man, then maybe hitting the greens is more your alley. The Ed Too Tall Jones Golf Classic is this Saturday at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's also one of the best courses in the area, the Tunica National Golf and Tennis Course. It's $150 a person, and that includes green fees and half cart. Now you can call 901-729-4344 for tickets. Now tickets to the Southern Heritage Classic and all of the events, well, they're still on sale. You can get them online through Southern Heritage Classic website or online at Ticketmaster.com. But if you want to call and charge by phone, that number for you, Take a listen now, is 1-800-745-3000. That's 1-800-745-3000. Once again, the number of the tickets for the classic Southern Heritage Classic, Ticketmaster, 
1-800-745-3000. You know, Jarvis, since we're talking about tickets, I want to remind everyone, if you want tickets for the Greek show, it's Friday, September 12th at 7 o'clock, Lemoyne on College, Bruce Hall, $15 in advance, $20 at the door, and you can call 901-603-9003. Yep, your favorite Greek organization, they'll get those sweaters out, yes. and they'll be ready to do some <laughs> stuff. Hey, I love the smell of tailgate in the morning. You know mm. what? It smells like the Southern Heritage Classic. Yes, sir. We have a tailgate tipster that will leave you drooling live just after the break. The Southern Heritage Classic, presented by FedEx, celebrates its 25th anniversary. Enjoy the electrifying football game between the Tigers of Jackson State University and the Tigers of Tennessee State University. Enjoy the performance of the bands during the AutoZone Halftime Show. Come early for the classic tailgate and stay late for the fifth quarter and fireworks after the game. The Southern Heritage Classic, all the way live at 25, September 13, 6 p.m., Liberty Bowl Stadium, Memphis. Tickets on sale now at all Ticketmaster locations and online at Ticketmaster.com. At King Cotton Chrysler, we'll make a believer out of you. You need a car, you know you do. You know just what you're looking for. No one's fooling you. We'll make a believer out of you. We only get one chance. We know it's true. At King Cotton Chrysler, we'll make Want to save up to 50% on furniture and get a coupon for extra savings? Come and get it at the Great American Home Store. This Tuesday and Wednesday, you'll find savings up to 50% inside our huge showrooms and outlets. Then get a coupon for $100, $200, even $300 off. Plus, pay no interest for one year. Want to save up to 50%, get coupon savings up to $300, and no interest financing for one year? Come and get it. This Tuesday and Wednesday only at the Great American Home Store. At Regional One Health, we're home to nationally recognized trauma, burn, and neonatal care. But we're more than that. Our full family of services includes a surgery center, rehabilitation hospital, extended care hospital, and a multi-specialty outpatient center. By growing our exceptional services and providing compassionate care, we're committed to improving the health and well-being of the Mid-South. We are Regional One Health. Andy will at work tonight at 10. Super strong and double thick so your ice stays ice for days. The Yeti Cooler. Tonight at 10. Well, there's no arguing that tailgating at the Classic is the best. It's also one of the best times to impress your friends with your cooking skills. That's right. Joining us right now, we've got the man himself with some tips and tricks on how to wow the folks at the big tailgate coming up here at the Liberty Bowl for the Southern Heritage Classic. We've got caterer Desmond Robinson from D. Arthur's Catering. We thank you so much for being here, Desmond. Thank you for having me. And yes. tell us to tell us a little bit about your cooking because you kind of gotten everything together for us, but tell us about some of your tips in cooking. All right, so non what you want to do, everybody's used to burgers, everybody's used to beans, everybody's used to all of the traditional tailgate food. What you want to do is take it and boost it up a few notches. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's what I've done here today. Get it turned up, right? Is that get what it, you're talking about? Get it turned up. Uh -huh. get it turned up. All right, so uh, explain to us a little bit about some of your secrets that uh, you can put out here for the folks. All right, so what I'm going to show you first is how to make a shrimp burger. It's Shrimp burger. It's better than a traditional burger. Wow. A shrimp burger. I also made cilantro, lime, corn on the cob, and Jack Daniels baked beans. Ooh, All man, right, so let's, let's get to it. Yeah. This Explain is for the non-cooker in me. I like this. So here we have ground chuck, mm -hmm. fresh shrimp, um, Cajun spices, garlic powder, and uh, Worcestershire sauce. So we want to take some of that Cajun spice. You can use any brand you'd like, mm -hmm. and just pour some of that in there. You want to take a garlic powder. You can be as liberal as you'd like. Pour some of that on in there. Now, can you use yeah. fresh garlic cloves? You actually can. Okay. You sure can. 
and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in there. Man, I'm getting kind hungry. Of of that. Right, me too. That's looking good. Man. <laughs> All right. Good. So you want to get your hands in there? Well, before I do that, I'll take the shrimp. I have a little Old Bay spice here. Mm -hmm. Get that all over my shrimp. Put that on the scrimps, as we used to say. <laughs> on the scrimps. There you go. You got to get it straight now. Get your hands in there and get a little dirty. Okay. We'll mix this is all around here. Just kind of get those flavors going. And then you take your shrimp and you toss them on in there. Man. Ooh. That looks like some hearty eating about to happen. I hope so. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you right. mix that all up. Yeah. You mix it all up. And you have your pan already heated here. I sure do. Okay. What do you have it on? What What's the, the right temperature to get it ready to go? Well, you want to start it off on a high heat for about two minutes on each side, and then you want to reduce it to a lower temperature. Mm -hmm. And you want to sit that for about five to six minutes on a lower temperature, and the same thing will work on the grill. Mm -hmm. All now, right? I notice you don't have any oil. Is that on purpose? With the ground chuck, you really don't need any. It has okay. its own natural fats in it, and that's also why the shrimp are raw, because those juices are going to get into the shrimp from mm -hmm. the ground mm -hmm. chuck. All right? Yummy. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the uh, burner here. Mm -hmm. Please note that you can let some of the shrimp be seen in the meat because it's going to be really pretty once you actually get ready to eat it. All right? I love so I'm going to throw that on there and get that sauteing. Okay. All right. So we're going to fast forward a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, we already have a few prepared. So we have a shrimp burger here. You can use spicy ketchup, which I like because I like a little kick, mm -hmm. a little Dijon mustard, lettuce, tomato, shrimp burger. It's amazing. Uh, it Delicious looks fabulous. Things. Yeah, All right. it looks, and it's starting to smell good, too, coming out of yeah, here. Yeah, so I got this one cooking slow okay. over here. All right, so if we can fast forward a little bit over this way, mm -hmm. we have cilantro lime corn on the cob. Oh, uh, hold up one of those wow. so we can see it okay. here. Okay. Does that look good or does that look good? That, that's <laughs> making my mouth water mm -hmm. big time. And the folks here at the tailgate, Southern Harry's Classic Tailgate, they'll be saying, hmm, can we, can we jump in? And no, I hope so. And I, I know so. the last thing, the Jack Daniels, real Jack Daniels? Man? Real Jack Daniels. Okay. Real deal Jack Daniels. Uh -oh, okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Very good, very good. So they get people right as they get ready to go in here. It won't get you too right. Won't get you too right, just, just a little bit for the As you said earlier, turned up just a little bit. All right, so like you know, we need to sample some of this. Please Janine, do before we do this here. So I'm going to okay. take one of these. And you want to take one? And Jarvis, I'll take the corn on the cob. You take the corn on the cob. Okay. This has got onions on it. Oh my so goodness, this is live television. I am going to eat corn on Don't the cob on live it. television. Okay. All right. Ready? Let's see what this looks like. Uh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. You got to tell me the truth. Mm. Mm. My yeah, grandmother I'm, told me not what, to talk with my mouth full, but... I'll tell you what, why okay. don't you take it to the break? Because I'm going to eat this mm -hmm. right here. This is some good yeah. stuff. That's All fine. right, well, we're going to go to our break. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. On camera, a student tackled. Did police go too far? We're working the phones right now to find out what happened. A daycare employee fired after allegedly leaving a child in a closet. The kid's mom has a lot to say. A Memphis firefighter accused of murdering his ex-girlfriend outside of a Target. More details on his dark past. This cooler claims to keep your stuff cool for days. Andy Wise puts his Arctic chill to the test. We ask Andy, will it work at 10? Established in 1980, M.J. Edwards Funeral Home has proven to be a place of comfort and compassion. M.J. Edwards' goal has remained the same, to provide the finest quality services at prices affordable to all. M.J. Edwards has built a solid reputation by offering a compassionate licensed staff, constantly improving their facilities with state-of-the-art showrooms, beautiful chapels, and advanced funeral planning and services. M.J. Edwards Funeral Home, prestigious services within the means of all. Call 791-9700. GPAC is proud to announce our 20th anniversary season in the Duncan Williams Performance Hall. Become a subscriber today and save up to 30%. We will kick off the season with Dr. John in a tribute to Louis Armstrong. And then Wynton Marsalis on October 4th and Cirque Mechanics on November 15th. Order your tickets today for GPAC's 20th anniversary season. Hi, I'm Steve Harvey. I've learned that behind every success story are others helping to make it happen. 
that's especially true at Straya University. As a student, you get a personal success coach to help you with almost anything. My major is to help you balance classes with your busy schedule. My major. Help you see your own potential. My major is your success. My major is you. Start your success story at Strayer.edu. That's inspirational, Steve. Thank you, Kathy. Hey, what a great time we've had at the Southern Heritage Classic Special. 25 years strong. Fred, Fred Jones, the founder, the executive director, his son, Nate. We've got our great chef here, Janine. What a great time we've had here. We want you to come on out to the Classic. All the activities going on this week, it's a great time to be in Memphis. We'll see you at the Classic.